natetea haki ya mtoto msichana tuhakikisha kwamba mtoto msichana huyu amepata elimu ya kutosha amepata safe space ambayo wanaweza kuzungumza ameweza pia ku, kuwa included katika decision making na pia uh, to invest uh, katika mambo ya education ili tukue na ile uh, fund ambaye inaweza kufanya mtoto aweze kusoma ili tuweze kufikia ama kuvunja ile barrier ya gender inequality tuweze kuwa na gender equality kwa sababu mtoto msichana atakaposomeshwa at least anaweza kuchukua space yake tumetoka mbali kama akina mama kama mtoto msichana tumetoka mbali unajua uh, katika ile situation in african tradition wasichana ama akina mama ndio wanadhulumiwa sana kimaisha eh, kifedha hawana fedha hawana elimu ya kutosha kama vijana and kupigwa kina mama kupigwa na wazee maisha inakuwa ngumu kwao and that is why kwa sababu serikali imeweka the constitution of Kenya na policy zile county zote simeweka ni ile ya kutoa dhuruma dhidi ya mtoto msichana na na kina mama ndio kukuwa na gender equity katika employment katika shule wat, wasomeshwe equally wapatiwe equal opportunities equal you know everything becomes equal for for the girls because formerly haikuwa equal walikuwa nadhulumiwa kidogo walikuwa nyuma kidogo ki, ki, ki masomo ki fedha walikuwa nyuma lakini sasa tunasherekea kwa sababu tu, serikali imepiga hatua kuhakikisha kwamba there is gender equality in the in the country sisi kama county government for example samani unajua kina mama ndio wanaenda kuchota maji na unajua distance ile wanaenda kuchota the county government imejenga imechimbua im, bows mingi sana karibu na area ile watu wanaishi ndio kina mama watolewe ile ile mtungi kwa, kwa mgongo wa, wa, wachote maji karibu ikienda kwa maneno ya kutafuta chakula serikali inahakikisha kwamba Almost kila nyumba haina poverty. Poverty levels have gone down. Serikali inawasaidia kwa sababu inafundisha akina mama hata wao wenyewe kufanya biashara, kielimu wameajiriwa, wamepata elimu, wameajiriwa kuhakikisha kwamba pesa iko kwa mifuko ya kina mama. Na tunawafundisha kasa county tumeweka programs nyingi sana ya kuhakikisha the authentic and culture. Kama kama female genital mutilation, kama kupigwa ovyo ovyo kudhurumiwa hata psychologically physically hiyo yote ni ni, ni thing of the past past kwa hivyo as account the government tumeweka pesa kwa department of gender kwa department of culture kwa department of social services kuhakikisha the, the women and girls are getting their rights but as a girl officer guy or girls improving resilience through livelihood na inahusiana sana sana na mambo na wasichana na pia hata vijana which 80% inakwanga tunafanya kazi na wasichana 20% ni wavijana so leo tunasherekea international day of girl child hiyo ni furaha yetu kubwa kurecognize you as a international worldwide kujulikana kama wasichana so for us kenye tungependa sana ni atuja bado Inaonekana kila mtu anasema tume everything ni girls girls lads lakini mimi naona bado hatujafika mali tungetaka kufika we are not still hatujafika hiyo equality because equality ni ile mahali at least ningeona kila msichana ameenda shule na kila msichana ako na hiyo rights yake ya ya kupelekwa mtoto shule so bado bado tuko na hiyo cultural norms hiyo inasumbua bado kwa watu wetu kama pastoralist ya kukalisha wasichana shule. So msichana kitu moja ile inamsumbua labda kusema labda akienda shule at the end of the day ataolewa na anakaa nyumbani. So ndo maana encourage yao haikui hiyo sana. So we are trying to work closely with the girls and the county government to see each and every girl being educated. Kama jamii ya Isholo wafukaji mtoto msichana ako na changamoto mingi sana lakini kama serikali kuu tumefanya vile tuwesavyo tuone kwamba msichana amepata haki yake hapa tumehakikisha kwamba eh, watoto wakichiunga shule kama ya upili 100% transition na tumeona kwamba hatua kama hiyo tumefaulu na tungeomba jamii waone kwamba msichana kama mtoto yote yule mwingine amepata haki yake kimasomo pia kama eh, serikali tumeona kwamba katika mashule zetu wasichana ile enrollment kwamba 
watoto wa asichana wanachitahidi wako shule wanasoma ngawa pia serikali hapa maana kwamba katika mashule zetu tunawapatia chakula tuone kwamba wasichana wetu wamebaki kwa shule wasioleke mapema pia kama serikali na washika wadau tumesaidiana kwamba kama wasichana kama wamepata sodo na vitu singine ile inafanya wakose shule pia tumeona kwamba haki sawa mama hapa isholo ni kwamba tukienda kwa baraza tukisikia ile eh, malalamishi inafika ofisi yao kwa baraza tunaona kwamba eh, wa mama wa mama wamepata haki yao hawadhulumiwi uh, na tunaona kwamba pia wa mama na wasichana ni kiungo muhimu kwa maendeleo ya nchi yetu pia kama serikali eh, upande wa vijana wetu tunahakikisha kwamba vijana pia wasiwache nyuma kwamba pia ni e, tunahakikisha wameenda shule tunahakikisha kwamba ile mahitaji yao hasa wale wako shule wamepata diposa tupate mtoto kijana na msichana wanatoshana kimasomo na hapo mbeleni watachangia wote katika e, maendeleo ya nchi yetu uh, kwa sifa society tumemesa kuwa na programs ya kuempower mtoto msichana uh, tumekuwa na programs za uh, adolescence Uh, tuna target msichana a boy and a girl in and out of school ili waweze kuseme sana kwa sababu tunasema kwamba watakaposeme sana hawa wenyewe wanaweza pata suluhisho ya mashida ambayo na wakumba asua mambo ya FGM mambo ya early marriages mambo ya school dropout so, wakisungumza wenyewe kwa wenyewe inaweza kuwa mzuri kwa hivyo pia tumewapatia space ya kuweza kuwa wanaweza kuzungumza na kuongea wale wasichana ambao wako nje ya shule ambaye wali drop out of school na imekuwa ngumu kurudi sisi kama isiolo gender watch tumeweza kwa empower through economic empowerment tumeweza kupata fedha kidogo uh, ya kuweza kuempower kina mama aswa milioni tatu ili tuweze kuwapatia na kuwawekea pesa zao katika account zao ili waweze kufanya biashara uh, na nyingine pia tumehakikisha wasichana wakati mambo ya policies zinazungumziwa especially gender policy tunahakikisha tulihakikisha kwamba mtoto msichana amekuwa kuna hiyo policy pia reproductive health policy adolescence and reproductive health policy tulihakikisha kwamba watoto wasichana wamezungumza na mwaka jana watoto wasichana waliweza kwenda Meru wakaweza kuchangia mjadala ambayo ilikuwa inaendelea kusungumziwa. Kwa hivyo mambo mengi ambayo tunaendelea kupanga ni kuhakikisha kwamba mtoto msichana huyu pia ameweza kujitetea. Ameweza kukata sio wazazi waweze kukata but yeye mwenyewe aweze kukata. Na siku ya leo Kenya inatufurahisha pia ni kwamba mtoto msichana pia ameanza kutetea mtoto kijana. Maana wameuliza kwamba ndio tutasomeshwa tutakuwa empowered zaidi. Huyu mtoto kijana Uh, atakuwa mtoto wa aina gani kwa sababu atakuwa mjomba wa mtoto wangu atakuwa baba wa mtoto wangu kwa hivyo walikuwa nasema kwamba at least we, we can now go back and empower the boy na tuendanishe pamoja gender champions in every department inahakikisha ya kwamba both men and women are treated equally within each department na tunahakikisha ya kwamba uh, dhuruma ya both genders kama ya wasichana Ime, ime, uh, we, we are fighting against it completely. Kwa hivyo there, there are so many programs to hakikisha both men and women are treated equally in the county government. For example, angalia uh, kwa procurement, government procurement. Tunahakikisha kwamba that percent, that percent of all the procurement biashara yote inaenda kwa akina mama, vijana, uh, persons with disability to ensure that they are also in, they feel also included ukiangalia kwa kuajili kuajili uh, getting jobs in the county government the, 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 the governor has ensured that all women are all women and men are included even though not equally but at least they are included there is representation in every department yes ukiingia uh, for example kwa tukikuwa na mikutano both men and women are included Unaona? So we are we can give uh, bit come and agriculture all the projects both women and uh, and and men are included even the, even even if it's not in the same ratio at least they don't feel excluded Kuna hizo syllabus za shule Tukiweka kabisa fully ile mambo ya sex, sexuality education sexual and productive health Unajua ile iko inakuanga very shallow lakini wakiweza wakiweza ku mainstream kabisa itaweza kuwa zaidi kwa sababu ukiangalia science inafunzwa deeper ikifika mambo ya sexual 
health inakuwa shallow but tunastahili kujifungua ya pili ya kufungua kabisa ya pili ni mtoto msichana kusungumza na mzazi kuwa na ile open discussion between the parent and the child both parents baba na mama waweze kusungumza na mtoto msichana kwa sababu sisi tulifanya baseline mwaka jana kwa sababu tulikuwa na hiyo project ya adolescence in and out of school unapata kwamba mtoto anakuwa open kwa mzazi wa nje ama kwa kijana wa pikipiki lakini mzazi anakuwa ngumu na pia uh, tunajua kwamba walimu wako karibu na wanafunzi lakini hata hivyo walimu wakiwa karibu na wanafunzi tunastahili ku encourage kuwa ile 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 tuseme ile psychosocial support wanapeana waweze kuwa na ile department ambayo iko fuli na mtoto atakao ataanza kuwa tu na kwenda kusimamiza maneno yake kwa hivyo tunastahili kuwa na ile friendly space